Hello, my name is Chris, and today I'd like to talk about how you can use a donut chart to make you a point. Imagine you are the owner of Daring Donuts, a fictional artisan donut shop famous for its handcrafted donuts made from premium ingredients and unique toppings. The shop works on a sellout basis, meaning that once a certain type of donut is sold out, it's no longer available that day. As a result, Daring Donuts customers are assured that each batch of donuts is freshly made. Daring Donuts offers the basic classic flavors such as glazed donuts and jelly donuts in addition to its seasonal gourmet flavors. To get a better understanding of how the two types of donuts sold this month, you thought, I'll make a donut chart. At the top of the chart is the title and the source of the data is on the bottom right. Also, a legend is needed to identify the different types of delicious donuts that make up the donut chart. And let's use the donut hole for the total number of donuts sold in a month. Now you're ready to write a three-part description and analysis identifying Daring Donuts' most in-demand donut. In the beginning, your executive summary should give an overview of the sales numbers. For example, Daring Donuts enjoyed a very successful month with sales of 2,000 donuts. Our seasonal gourmet flavors accounted for 55% of sales. Next comes the breakdown of the sales with the description of the data. Jelly donuts at 400 were the most popular classic flavor, followed by sugar at 300 and glazed at 200. Our seasonal offerings were led by cinnamon twists and peanut butter at 500 each, with key lime coconut at 100, a distant third. Now comes your call to action. What adjustments should be taken going forward with your analysis of the data? Cinnamon twists and peanut butter donuts are a lock for next year. We, however, should begin exploring alternatives for the key lime coconut. A savory cornbread donut or even a spicy cheddar jalapeno green onion donut might be more in line with our shop's name, Daring Donuts. In summary, a donut chart is an effective way to compare the different parts that make up the donut, as well as to compare the parts to the total amount. Thanks for your time, and I look forward to discussing another way to visualize data so that you can make your point.